Why are they dying? What's happened? Hey guys, what's up? LD Tile Lady here and welcome back to my Shadowcraft world. First things first, we have an elephant harness and two chests for Elfheart over here, or as you guys want me to now call her, Elfheart. Sorry about that, Elfheart. It was quite an unfortunate name, wasn't it? Now let's put this harness on you. Oh, that looks great. Aha! My head is in the chandelier. Um, maybe this wasn't a great place to keep an elephant? Yeah, this was kind of silly. Of all the ideas I've had, this is one of the silliest. Oh gosh. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, that did not work well. But on to today's task of decorating the house for Christmas because it is now December and that means that Christmas decorations are allowed. Yes. So I wanted to start off by decorating my house to make it look a little more festive. <gasps> we should have some red and green lights. And there's all kinds of decorative items. So I just don't know why I do that. We'll finish the house and then we'll move on to make a little Christmas island for some Christmassy pets. Are you okay, Magic? Just kind of seems like you're having some difficulties. Well, I'm going to go and get some green dye and some red dye for the fairy lights. We... How did, what, what are you doing? Little tiny pig, you're very cute, but you shouldn't be out here. So I should have some flowers up here, which we can use. Use some of these and some of this. String in the middle, iron on either side, and then we'll add the green and red. That does not look very nice, but let's just hope it actually looks nice when we put it up. And I think we'll also get some twinkly lights. I think, some red twinkly lights would look quite nice. And maybe also try some red and green twinkly lights. So I think I'll keep these ones up, but I will just put some red and green ones up as well. How does this look? Oh, <gasps> that's really cute. Very Christmassy. Hmm. Now, there's not much room for fairy lights because I seem to have way too many. Ta-da. Oh, that's quite cute. Oh, it's twinkly here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Magic even loves it. Now let's separate the outside a little bit. Let's put some from here to here. <gasps> That's quite cute. Ta-da! Oh, we should put some on this tree too. From the house to the tree. Ta-da! Whoa! That looks nice. Oh, how about over here? Boop! Boop! Oh, that's cute! You get the idea. Everything's very cute. Oh, my house is Christmassy. Okay. Now I'm going to make some of the deco craft decorations just to put around the house. Okay, so I've got a chest full here. So I'm going to start with the Christmas tree, of course. This is a small Christmas tree. So where should we put this? How about here? <gasps> oh, that's so cute, but it's kind of blocking the way to a lot of very essential things. So maybe we should put it in the corner, actually. I mean, who needs an anvil anyway? That looks really cute. Now, we're gonna need to put some reindeer plushies around because they are very essential to the holiday spirit. Oh, I've replaced the glass with a reindeer. Whoopsie. Oh well, let's put some on top of here. Then the squirrels might think it's one of them and they will get excited. Boop, cute. And then the jukebox. And let's put one in my room as well. Oh, Elf Heart wants one as well, so we'll pop one in there for her. How about in the corner? There we go. And on this chest. All right, what do we have next? We've got some elves and some Santa plushies. I think we should just put a Santa here. Who needs windows anyway? Okay, we've got a floating Santa. Oh dear. That Santa's so cute. Oh, he is adorable. Let's put one up here as well. Let's put an elf up here as well. Oh, we've got a little collection going. Man, these squirrels love this burger. Oh, that's a rabbit. I'm going to put an elf down here. Ugh, it's kind of creepy. And I'm going to put one out here as well. Oh, I've got a pumpkin. Well, two holidays crossing over. And Santa... Wait, I was about to decorate the graveyard. Is it appropriate to decorate the graveyard for Christmas? I mean, why not? Let's put Santa in the graveyard. <gasps> I've jumped in the fire. I've jumped in the lava. That was very silly. And I've been extinguished. Oh no! No, 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 no! Chocolate chip, no! Oh my gosh, I need to not leave the door open, otherwise this happens. Why would you even want to escape? This place is just starting to get festive. Ooh, a gin 
gingerbread house. Just one of these, don't be excessive. I'm gonna put it in the corner here. Oh, that's cute. Do not eat it, Fuzz Lightyear. It's not for your consumption. Oh, there is some cookies though, which you also cannot eat. They're for me. <laughs> oh, I don't have like a table or anything in here. I have this tiny coffee table which they can float on. I'll use that for now when I put the milk and cookies on. That's very cute. I like it. What else can we have on there? We could have this candy cane jar. So many candy canes. Let's try out some of these garlands. Where can they go? Don't have a lot of wall space. <laughs> I've pretty much covered this whole place. What is this? Oh, that's cute. Oh gosh, that's not worked out exactly how it was supposed to. Oh, that looks good. There we go. We've got some over there. Everything looks good from a distance. Oh, snowmen! <gasps> That's adorable. I want this one in real life. Oh, they're cute, little snowflakes. Just hanging around. Get it? Because they're hanging off the wall. <laughs> okay, wasn't that funny. Where can we hang a stocking around here? How about over here? It's like over the balcony. Oh, that is cute. We'll have a, a few stockings because there are a few of us living here. And that's all of our stockings. What? They actually light up. <gasps> these are cute. Oh, that's adorable. Let's get these everywhere, basically. Oh, no. My globe. That was an accident, obviously. Dang it. These Christmas lights are causing nothing but destruction. All right. This place looks super tacky. I like it. Can you put one on a door? Oh, oh, now it's stuck. Crisis averted. The last thing is the presents under the tree. Ooh, look at all these presents that people have left for me and totally not me leaving them for myself. <laughs> ah, so plentiful, they're just everywhere. Look at them, oh, they're spilling out all over the house. There's some outside too from my my friends that have come to visit me and they've left me loads of presents. Wow. Oh my gosh, I just thought I'm one step away from making myself a mailbox and leaving myself mail. <laughs> oh look, the flamingos brought me some presents. Thank you, flamingo. Ta-da! Oh, that is quite cute. And then we've got this Christmas tree here, which should be bigger than that one. So I'm gonna put it outside. So that everyone knows I'm a Christmas person. Oh, I'll put it by this log. Ta-da! Whoa, that is huge. And so cute! So now the house is all done, the next thing to do is decorate a little Christmas island. So over here, as you can see, I have constructed a little star-shaped island inspired by the star that goes on top of the Christmas tree. And it took me a long freaking time to build a star in Minecraft. But it's looking a little bit grassy at the moment, so I think we need to build some little baby snowmen to just wander all over this place and snowify it. So I know we have, oh dang, things have gone terribly wrong in here. Just ignore it, just ignore it. We've got some snowballs somewhere and we can just use some pumpkins from the farm. Oh man, do we have any spare pumpkins? We do, we got four. Well, I guess four snowmen will have to do the job. We just need to be careful that it doesn't rain because they will die in the rain. Plop, 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 plop. Why are they dying? What's happened? Why did they die? Did they melt? I don't understand. So I found out the snowballs actually die if you spawn them in a desert or in a jungle. And we happen to be in a savannah biome right now, so that's probably why it died. For some reason, an elephant has appeared to take its place. And meanwhile, I'm just gonna pretend to be a snowman myself and place a trail of snow wherever I go. Pooping it out to make the ground all snowy. Two hours later. Oh boy, snowmen have a hard job, but I'm finally finished and it kind of looks like an iced cookie. So the first thing that we wanna do is put a couple of trees on here. So I'm gonna use some spruce trees just to <laughs> spruce this place up a bit. And then we can put some fairy lights on them to make them look like Christmas trees. Oh no, I just realized we're gonna need a fence around this place if we wanna keep animals here. So this should keep in those pesky critters that keep escaping. We just need to wait for the trees to grow. So while they're growing, I think I'll make some fairy lights and then we'll start collecting some animals. Let's see how many colors we can put together in some fairy lights and see how colorful we can make it. Oh my gosh, you can add so many colors. Oh, this is either gonna look really cool or really bad. I think that's enough trees. So we can just start connecting them with some fairy lights from here 
And then the magical moment where we find out what it looks like. Boom! Oh, I like that a lot. I think it looks a bit better in the daytime. Okay, this place officially looks amazing. I love these lights. And I also crafted some of these pretend snowmen to make up for all the snowmen that died here. Cool snowmen. And we've also got Santa's sleigh and eight reindeer. I think I will put them floating in the sky like Santa's sleigh. So I'm going to put it here. <gasps> That's cute. And then we need to put eight reindeer. Boop, 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 boop. Boopadoo. And they're all Rudolph because they've all got red noses. Ta-da! I think that looks pretty cool. There's Santa in the sleigh though. Maybe it's for me to be Santa. Hello, it's me, Santa. Just kidding, it's a leash and a lady with wings. Okay, so we'll place the huge Christmas tree right here in the middle. <gasps> That's pretty. And then we'll put all kinds of presents around it. That looks pretty freaking cool. Oh, there is a stray present here. I'm just going to pop it right here. Ta-da! Oh, I've just had the perfect idea. Oh my gosh. Animal bikes. That's what our pets will be. They'll be animal bikes. Let's take a look and see which animal bikes we already have. None of them. There's nothing there. So I think the best one to craft would first of all be the reindeer bike. So we need a load of spruce saplings and a saddle. And then I think there's also a snow golem bike. So we just need snow and a saddle. The reindeer bikes are really awesome too. I'll show you. Prepare to be amazed. The snow golem bikes, not so amazing. But this is gonna knock your socks off. Ta-da! Isn't he cute? And then we just fly! <gasps> I could be Rudolph! So I'm just gonna put a couple of these guys around here. They should just wander around safely within the perimeter. Wait, hang on. They've all got different colored noses. <gasps> they have little pastel noses. Look, that one's got a little pink nose and that one's got a little blue nose. Oh my gosh, I wonder if we can spawn one in with a red nose. <gasps> this one's got a little red nose! It's Rudolph! Hello, Rudolph! Wow, let's spawn in some snow golems too. Oh no, it's dying! It looks like we can't have snow golems here. So I'm going to end this episode of Shadowcraft here. Don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed and you want to see more. Let me know what kind of animals you want to see here on the little Christmas island. And I will go and rescue some animals in next episode. If you're interested in winning something from one of my Christmas giveaways, today I'm giving away a cute Sailor Moon purse. So head on over to the giveaways page on ldshadowlady.com for more details on how to enter. Good luck and happy holidays! And I witnessed the bizarre mating ritual of a rare sea slug. Dilly's here to finish with Maddie! No!